everybody, Bug Eater back with another video. So, Mole Man Terry behind me just got us permission onto this field here. This used to be a dance hall site that goes back to what he said was the 1870s, and it lasted about 100 years, and I'm gonna start walking back to him because he's got a really cool find, so I'm gonna loop you in with what he's got. So what do you got there? That is a Merry Widow tin. That is a Merry Widow's tin, and you just sniped a bucket lister off me. If I can get this into the light, but yeah, there it is. Price one dollar. So this is a uh, this is an antique condom tin. Uh, so somebody was having a little fun out here, but that's an awesome find. Nice job. Let's see if we get something else. Why is it dig up? So that was an easy one. It's just right on top of the ground. I'm out in a farm field today with Terry, and yeah, that's gonna be my first good find of the field. A spoon. It didn't hit very good, so I'm thinking probably brass and silver plate, but. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit and I'll loop you back in. So I actually was able to straighten this back out. It has the word community on the back. It must be the brand name. A lot of fancy even on the back of it. And then here's the front of the spoon. Pretty much all the silver plate is still intact. So that is a really beautiful find. I will take it. Let's see if we get something else. So Terry just got something really cool. Looks like a big a scutcheon off of a piece of furniture. It's got some silver plate on it and it says Beckwith's round oak so not sure on the age of it but it's a cool find it's, it's definitely older let's see if we get something else so i've already looked at this find here um you're not gonna be able to tell but that is a uh that is a clad quarter it is shot uh, there you go you can see the eagle just a little bit there but somebody had a pretty good aim back in the day but if i can reveal a date i'll loop you back in or throw it up but it's a cool find i'll take it let's see if we get something else well, this one was not deep at all, and right over there, green penny. So, hopefully a wheat. Last one, last couple were memorials. Wow, that is roached, whatever it is. I think that's a date poking through. Maybe 40-something? There's no telling. I'll give this a pants rubbing. See if I can get the one cent for you. Yeah, there it is. It's a wheat penny. So... Again, I think it's just a 40s. And yeah, it is just a 40s, but that's a good find though. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I just flipped this up. It hit just like an Indian, and I think it's a flattened penny, actually. Uh, is there anything on that? Not that I can see. <laughs> Give that a pantser up and see if maybe... Yeah, I don't see anything on this. I'll clean this up, and if I find any detail... I'll loop you back in. If not, let's see if we get something else. So I just scooped up another coin here. This one looks to be another penny, and I think I believe I see one cent on that. So yeah, that's going to be another wheat penny. Yeah, that's another wheat penny. Let's see what we got for a date on this one. We'll give it a pants rub. Let's see what we have. Huh. Not seeing much. Yeah, it looks like maybe a 40s with the naked eye. But I'll clean this up, and if it's an older date, I'll loop you back in. If not, let's see if we get something else. I thought maybe I was going to break my nickel drought, but you know what? I think that's even better than a nickel because that is a silver-plated spoon again. And that one's going to need some straightening out. And when I get it, I'll loop you back in. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Tried to unbend it, and the bowl just snapped off. Luckily, I've got plenty of uh, super glue at home that'll fix that up. But that's a super, super fancy silver plate. Lots of age to that one. I did not think I could see a back mark when I tried to clean it. Actually, maybe there is one coming through. I can't read it all too well, but that's still a silver plate spoon. I will take it. Let's see if we get something else. So Terry and I have moved on to the dump, and uh, I think I've got a bucket lister. That there is going to be a pair of glasses complete. And... We're gonna see if, oh, they're starting to break just a bit. So I'm gonna be careful with these, but that's a really cool find. I will take it. Let's see if we get something else. So this is where the original massive old bottle hole got filled in. And just out of the dirt, I picked up a few cool finds. I got a, a stopper here. I can put that with one of my bottles at home. And the two cooler ones here, I got a, a Chesbro New York Vaseline jar. Um, not sure on the age of this one, probably a little bit later, but this one here looks a little bit earlier with the cork top, but it says uh, Mansfield something. Um, the rest of this is unreadable, so I'll have to get this one to you in the wrap up, but it's a, that's definitely an older bottle, so I'll take them. Let's see if we get something else. So before we headed out from the dump, Terry and I decided to stop over at the marble spot. 
No marbles today, but I got this little uh, thing here. It looks like three sitting dogs. I also got a very, very crusty padlock that's gonna need some CLR, but the best find out of that was another spoon for us today. Uh, this one is a fiddlehead, but if I can get that into the light, it's not gonna focus very well, but... Huh, I'll loop you in with the spoon. There we go. It's got this C monogram on it. And not sure what it stands for, but that's gonna look really nice cleaned up. So we'll be hunting a little bit more today. So let's see if we get something else. So I have moved on to a park and this one was pretty deep and I see a green looking coin just sticking in the dirt that I pulled out here. And I believe I see Lincoln and I see one set. So that is gonna be a wheat penny. Looks like a pretty green one too. So maybe an earlier date. The it's a little bit cold today, so the dirt's a little bit frozen. So maybe we'll reveal a date. I think I see 40s actually, but that's a good find though. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I just dug a copper penny signal and uh, that is not a copper penny. That is a massive ring and that looks shiny. Oh, beautiful clean wipe on that. That has got to be sterling. Uh, there is no doubt about that. <laughs> wow. That is a massive stone in there too. Let's see if maybe we can get a mark off the inside. It's a little bit dirty. Um, it doesn't look like the oldest ring in the world in my opinion, but it's very heavy. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and I'll loop you back in. So here's the ring, the best I'm gonna get this cleaned in the field. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It is most definitely a modern the ring. The way I can tell that it is modern is that the back mark inside, if I can get that to focus for you, uh, does not want to focus for me. But that is 925, uh, the marker on the inside. Let's try this one last time. There we go, you can sort of see it, 925. So the older ones would either be unmarked or marked sterling, so. Again, not a very old ring, but still a really cool find. I will take silver. Let's see if we get something else. So I just pulled up my first coin of the churchyard. I can already see it's a wheat penny, and it looks like it's got a green patina to it. So hopefully, hopefully this will be an older one. I have kind of struggled on the older wheats lately, and it is very dirty, and it has a date of 1930-something, I think. See if we can get that, maybe a 37. Yeah, I think that is a 37. If it's something else, I will clean it up and loop you back in and let's see if we get something else. So I've got another pretty green looking penny down in the hole here and that one is also a wheat. So that is number two for the churchyard now. And it's got an older look to it again. So maybe, maybe this will be a little bit older. Oh, it's definitely older. <laughs> that one there, 19. 20 something I think a 20 or 29 maybe and that is a nice green patina on that one so I will take it let's see if we get something else so I just flipped out another something interesting it looks like some sort of thing with a stone in it oh I was thinking maybe a cuff link but maybe this is a button of some sort not entirely sure it's got some gilt on it an onyx stone and then what appears to be some sort of shank on the back so yeah, definitely some sort of button with a uh, black stone or whatever that is, but that's a really cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Hey everybody, Bug Eater back with another wrap up from several short hunts across a bunch of different sites. So I want to start off by saying congrats to Terry on all of his awesome finds, as well as a huge shout out to Jim for finding the church site that although it was a bust, it had a lot of great potential and it was a lot of fun hunting it. But here's my take from those hunts. I got a, uh, a Cub Scout slide here. It's a Bear Scout. Um, I got this little clip here. Um, it's got a cross on it. I found that one at the church. Um, I got the zipper that says gripper zipper on it. It's a uh, vintage jean zipper from like the 50s or so. Then I got some pieces of more modern junk jewelry. Um, I got this little charm with a stone, probably off a necklace. And then this ring here, it's super fancy. Got a lot of stones in it, but sadly it is just plated. I also got this here, which is an interesting one because I'm not sure entirely if it's precious. Um, it might be silver, might not be, but it looks like it's a, uh, a piece of a watch band. I got three pieces of silver where I got a couple of mingled spoons here that are silver plated. And then this one that Terry found and was generous enough to give to me, there's a C monogram that's going to be a little tough to see. 
without just the right lighting. And then onto some vines from the dump, I got a uh, a Reese padlock. Now this thing came out super crusty, but CLR cleaned this thing right up. I also got this little uh, ceramic statuette with what I believe are three uh, little dogs. Maybe they're monkeys. No telling there. I also got a huge bucket lister, this pair of Art Deco glasses. Uh, they got a little bit of fancy around the outsides, and that was really cool to see those come out completely intact. Um, I got a little uh, button with like some sort of black stone in it. It's got silver plating on it. A shock quarter dated 1995, the year I was born. Um, I got a flattened penny. Not sure if this one was a memorial or a, a wheat. There's just no uh, telling. And I found both, both memorials and wheats at the spot. Got a Bazinga 59 memorial. And then a bunch of wheat pennies. I got a 48S, a 47S. A 44D in pretty crusty condition. The two oldest are a 37 and a 20D. And then my big silver for this hunt, a massive men's ring with a lot of stones in it. Uh, it's got kind of an art deco look to it, but the 925 back mark on the inside tells me that it's probably a little more modern. But hey, silver is silver, even if it is modern. But that was my hunt, guys. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.